Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I eventually got to the puzzle that my sister won in the um, Puzzle Olympics raffle. Uh, Blue Kazoo. The puzzle's name is The Traveler. It's 1000 pieces. Um, initially I wasn't too fond of the picture, the image, but you can see there it is quite colorful with all that mountains and um, clouds. So that made it a little bit more enjoyable. So that together with the, the quality of the pieces made that I actually enjoyed this puzzle. I wish I can do another one with an uh, image that's more of my taste. But uh, yeah, all in all, I, I really enjoyed it. The quality of the pieces, it feels different than anything I've ever felt. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not really soft and it's not really velvety, but it's so different and I love the feel. I love to touch these pieces. So the time lapse this time, a little bit different. Um, there is a time lapse, but in between I took videos with the progress and I shared my thoughts with you. Um, you will see in the end I talk about the I knew the pink pieces that still left and it will go in quite well. Um, it did not go in quite well. You will see I had to uh, shape short in the end to um, to be able to complete that pink piece. So, but I managed it. At the time wasn't too bad. And uh, here's the time lapse. I hope you enjoy it and thank you so much for watching. Okay, so there the edge pieces are finished. So for zero false fits, so I'm quite happy with that. Now to get some sort of sorting going on on that pile. Luckily there's only like five or six colors, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. <music> I wish I could let you feel the feel of this pieces. They are so soft, so fine. It's unlike anything I've ever felt before. There's zero shine on that. I've got some lights going on. I've got two doors open and there's nothing. So without glare and the feel of this, I believe this is going to be a pure pleasure puzzle. Okay, so at the end of the initial sorting, that's where I'm at. The pinks aside, then I thought, yeah, if the pinks are out there, the rest will be a little, little less to go through. These are all the pieces that with that, I don't know if you can see it, that grainy, um, texture that's there at the top below the writing so I took out all that uh, grainy pieces and what's left is the solid colors um, and where they transition to a next color so I will if necessary sort this again um, after I've done the stop part with the grainy background and the writing Okay, so the writing is done, that uh, grainy background, got all that in and um, I'm going to try and put these in as far as possible without having to sort, so let's see how far I get. Yeah, pink will probably be the last to go in, but um, I believe I can get those in without too much further sorting. So I just took a break and there's where I'm at at the moment. Still most of the pink left here. Uh, the wording is in. And I did manage to get in these clouds. And those two clouds are in. The pink body is taking shape, the outline. 
so I just need to go to the bottom with the other clouds and then I'll get back with the pink to fill it in so there's where I'm at now I hope to get it done today so let's see how far I get Okay, so all the colors are completed, all the clouds, all the colorful pieces are in. So now I just need to do that bunch of pink and I think they will go in quite well. Mm -hmm. 